everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a split colour pinwheel. This is going to be a follow along from my Colourpop pinwheel which I did recently. I will link this in the description below where you have the two colours on each tail. And I'm also going to add a version with the printed ribbon so you know which way to get your printed ribbon so that it's the right way up on both edges. Okay. And I've also got a mini Colourpop version on the 3 in uh, three inch template 1 inch ribbon because this is 1.5 inch ribbon. And I've also got a version where we've obviously got a printed ribbon in the middle and the two colours on the outside. And a three colour version and there is picture tutorials for all of these styles of um, pinwheels so if you want to have a play around and you want to see how to put these all together yourself all the picture tutorials are in the Facebook group and the links are in the description below along with all the measurements because the other thing is with templates um, if you want to you don't actually have to measure anything and I will show you on the one inch ribbon so this is my three inch templates and I have a broad set of wooden templates. I will link the supplier but she's currently on a break at the moment, the UK supplier that I use. So as soon as she starts posting again I'll update my description but like I said she's on a little break until the UK postage system is a little bit more organised than it currently is. But three inch template you can actually make your own. And what I use is uh, the strongest cardboard you can find and what you do so say you want a four inch template measure four inches okay draw your lines down I do ten inches down you want a two inch gamp from the top work out your dead center placement and you want a one centimeter gap for your stitch guide and you'll end up with a longer version of this and I would also advise taping or cellar taping down the edges so you can slip the ribbon off easily but like I said they're not hard to make at all so three inch template one inch ribbon and what I do is I take them together pop them on my template like this and this is how I work out where the split needs to be Clip, 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 round, round, round. So I wrap it around so I know that I've got enough to do my pinwheel wrap, which is this on the back and this on the front, and then I cut. And then obviously we've got one colour and we've got one bit of plain. Take those like so. them straight down the middle and there you go you've got your one piece of printed ribbon and your one piece of plain to do a split colour pinwheel and all we do is we heat seal with our lighter in the clear blue bit of the flame we do this side as well you can use some glue you can use your glue gun if you want to, but you would need a higher temperature so it's something you can stitch through. So you can use hemming tape, um, you can use the thinner double sided sticky tape. As long as you're able to stitch through, then you're absolutely fine. So I use this one which is B7000. And I'll just put a teeny bit on. And with your overlap, when you glue, never go more than one centimetre on your overlap because our ribbon for our centers is only nine millimeters so if you go more than a centimeter you can't hide that when you're wrapping your centers so on the one inch ribbon I only do half a centimeter overlap okay and what I'm gonna do this is fast drying so I'm just gonna put a clip there just to hold that for a second and we'll do the other side as well to make two. Well, I'll make another one off camera once I finish filming. I don't want to bore you all. So, put that out of the way. 
Let's bring our template back in and make sure this is centered. I pop that in the middle so that's right on the middle of our stitch placement guide because we want to stitch right through this and then we wrap round we wrap round Two. So as you can see, front, back, and you can do it so that your prints at the bottom or the top, whichever you personally prefer. And you take your needle and thread, and I will start from above. that because that should be just about set by now okay so we're stitching through that overlap in over and this works on all your templates for all your size ribbons so if you want a two inch ribbon and you want it to be five inches wide you just get the five inch template wrap your two pieces around and cut in half and so on there we go so we started from above we're coming back up from behind and it's in one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So basically it's four stitches on each one inch piece. And you should have um, one, one, two, and one on your other side. And I will show you. I'm just going to get my pen. There we go, because it's white ribbon, you can't see. So there you go. So in, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And on the back, you've got one, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. And then hold it between your fingers like so. And cinch and keep it nice and centered so that you loop through even there we go and then once you're happy stitch off in the back now you'll always see I like slightly longer tails but if you want a slightly shorter just wrap them around the template a little bit less than I do and you'll start with shorter tails like I said, I like them a little bit longer, so if I make a mistake with the angle I cut my tail length or anything like that, I've got just a little bit more room to work. Okay, so there's that one. And then take my roller. The other thing I do to check is I put them against this loop here. And I check how much is over. So that's two centimetres. And this side, this looks a little bit longer. Yeah, that's two and a half. So work out the extra bit. Cut that down. And then choose what you want to do with the tails, whether or not you want them angles, whether or not you want them at, I think, do deep curves on these. There you go. So decide the angle you want. Don't forget to heat seal. And there you go. 
there is one super cute mini one inch pinwheel made on the three inch template and I've got my centre and I do believe I did just have a cream bowl and in my typical fashion I have just put it somewhere and now I can't find it it's okay go in my drawer find another one haven't got an exact match today so I'll have to do a cream or you can add a clip Whichever you prefer. Right on the back. If I use a seamless bobble, I always put the seam on the centre for extra security. Pop your 9mm on. And then wrap round nice and tight at least twice. And make sure you're going back over the original ribbon so you can't see you don't want to see this underneath you want it completely covered by the original layer and the other thing is we shouldn't see any of the printed ribbon over here okay so we go Said, just adjust your loops a little once you've got your centre on and there you go a little cute one inch one and I've got my 1.5 inch ribbon here and I've got a five inch template and again heat seal your centre heat seal Add your touch of glue. Or your hemming tape, whatever you want to work with that you can easily stitch through. Make sure on this, again, you don't want to be going more than half a centimetre, a centimetre over. As long as we can cover this, like so, with our 9mm, we're working in a good area. Okay, so we're going to take the clip, same as before, just hold it for a second. And we pop this on our template in the centre again, over that stitch guide where the join is, so we've got it to stitch through. And again... Wrap it round. Like so, use your clips to hold it to your template. You can use alligator clips or bulldog clips, anything you've got to hold it in place. So that's your back. This is your front. That'll be dry now again. And again, it's the same stitch placement as on the one inch. And this principle works for half um, pinwheels as well. So if you want to do this with the half pinwheel, obviously you just do less ribbon and only wrap to the half pinwheel shape. So going right through that overlap of ribbon. I'm just going to slip this down a little because my guide A little bit further than where my ribbon is. We're coming back up through there. There we go. 
again, slide it off your template, cinch, cinch, cinch. Like I said, you should have roughly two creases on each of your 1.5 inch ribbon. And then you can wrap round your centre like so, nice and tight. Stitch off in the back. As you can see, you've got a tiny little bit of your printed ribbon over this side, but that is fine because that is just enough that we can hide when we wrap our centre. If it was a bit further over, that's where we would have gotten our placement a little bit off and we can reopen it with, I have my stitch and picker. So I have one of these, so if I need to, I could uncinch the whole thing and adjust it back on my template and start all over again. There we go. And again, take it to this edge. That's three centimetres over this side three centimetres over decide how you want your tails I'm going to do these at a straight angle One. and like I said remember you can completely play around with your tails you can cut them shorter you can curve them you can spike them whatever is your personal preference and I've got a green bubble and the matching nine mil for the Drop of glue just there. Put that on the seam of the seamless bubble. Don't forget to heat seal our 9mm. Pop that round. And wrap nice and tight twice round. And like I said, what you meant want to be making sure is that is completely covering that little overlap over there okay and that'll be the same both sides make sure you can't see the ribbon underneath there we go Get that. heat seal our edge And glue. Adjust everything so it sits how you want it to sit. And there you go. There is a super quick split pinwheel. Like I said, it is super easy to get, as you can see, these are pretty much identical. They are that quick to make with your templates especially i find this method much much easier than freehanding them uh, freehanding them my loops always seem to sort of sit a little bit off center to one way or the other direction so like i said it's always fun to play with these instead and like i said you can be creative like i said you can mix up your colors you can use all your different templates you can use all your different ribbon sizes you can do your one inch five point inch ribbon on your four inch template you can do all your different sizes across the board and just play around and work out the shapes that you like from from everything so thank you for watching hopefully you found this useful and don't forget to like share and subscribe and there's always a facebook group in the description below if you want to come and join us for any extra help or advice okay thank you for watching bye